So let's continue our discussion on the National Sports Federation elections. You know the story. June the 13th, elections were done in Abuja. Uh, a lot of things went down. New presidents emerged. But uh, after the elections, petitions started flooding in last week, Friday. The appeals committee brought out their verdict. And they said, we're going to have rerun elections in athletics. We're going to have rerun elections in gymnastics. Gymnastics, they're still protesting now. We're going to have rerun elections in taekwondo. Rerun elections in weightlifting. That's our focus this morning on the program, weightlifting. What happened with weightlifting? Joining us now live on the program is Mohamed Yahaya, uh, president-elect at that election, but now it has been annulled for a rerun on July the 12th. Good morning and welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning. Good to have you on the show. Let's rewind time to June the 13th. Um, the appeals committees, they said there were a lot of irregularities in that election that you won. What really happened? <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, our election is one of the best elections we've conducted on 13th of uh, June. And uh, to my understanding, uh, we did the donor election uh, successfully in the, the national election. So the uh, uh, the, uh, the delegates are 50 in number. So I scored uh, 28 votes, and my opponents uh, scored uh, 22 votes. So he, got, he congratulated me, and uh, up to the end of the election, there is no no petition. So uh, the local college they submitted the report as it is, and uh, just after. A day after, so I learned that there is a petition, someone has petition in our election. Mm. So, uh, what, what, have, what has been your findings? Have you, did you, uh, aside the petition from Mr. Okoa, uh, are the delegates also in support of this rerun election? No, the delegates are not in support of it. They know that they did a certain job, they did a certain election. So, our election is a transparent, free and fair election. So, uh, you know. Uh, we don't know, uh, even the electoral uh, officers who conducted the elections, they are not even contacted. So imagine, so how can someone uh, make a petition to, to an appeal committee when the committee didn't even consult any one of us, either he or me, the, 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 the electoral president or the, 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 or the electoral uh, committee, they are not been aware of what is going on. Right. So, but now we are making an appeal. Uh, let me also um, quickly uh, chip this in, um, if, if you're listening. Um, now that the election has been annulled, what was your next um, line of action? What, what, what are you going to do? Um, or let me just say, what no. do you intend to do? No, for the interim of the sport, you know, uh, if uh, you get this, thing, the next thing to do is uh, to make an appeal. So we make an appeal. So we make an appeal to the chairman of the appeal committee. We coffee the honor minister, we coffee the NOC president, we coffee all the agents you can find. So we coffee them. So I believe that they are going to, you know, uh, in election, in every election, it has three stages of, uh, of, 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 of funnel. So first of all, there is a, 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 a petition committee, then followed by uh, a field committee, then a, after, a, after a field committee, there is a arbitration committee. So, which will look into all these cases and these matters. So, I believe that uh, the, the com- they are, they will, there must be a committee which will form to make sure that they look into our own appeal committee and into our own appeal. Mm. Part of the reasons that the uh, appeals committee gave uh, is that for weightlifting, there, there, was, there were wrong registrations for some delegates <laughs> and other delegates that were supposed to be part of the elections. Uh, didn't take part. But when you see a Scott um, as 28 to 22, uh, it tells you another story. What do you make out of all of this? <laughs> this one, you know, they just said it. They just said it, but it is not true. It is not true. You know, it is not true. So, so if you look at this way, we have 36 states in Nigeria, which we have uh, each state bring one delegate, including Abuja, that is 37. So we have 33 delegates, which is 37 in number. And we have six zonal uh, representatives, which is uh, six in number. So if you combine this, it will give you 50 numbers. So it is 50 delegates who vote. So there is nothing like that. Even if you come, you bring a letter from your state, you must produce either a national ID card, uh, international passport, or driver license. They are not recognizing uh, uh, ID card. It is this uh, three identities they used to recognize, and they used to receive copy. They collect copy of the ID card, 
or um, a driver license, I mean, or passport, or, uh, or, or driver license before you allow you to, to be screened. So include, uh, attached with that letter, photograph of the letter brought from your state. So, so yeah, they, 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 they just said it, but it's, it's not true. It's not true. It's not Mr. True. Yahaya, you have written um, an appeal to the appeals committee. That was like that, appeal to the appeals committee. Um, what's the update? What have they said to you? Mm. Pardon? What has the appeals committee, you have written to them, what's the update? What are they saying to you? I know they are, they are waiting. You know, now there is a, maybe I learned that there is a committee who will be headed by the Honorable Minister if he's back, he's not in the country. So even that was why the election was not hold on 12th. You know, the earlier decision was the, the election will hold on 7th. That was uh, today. So they shifted it to 12th. So from 12th, they shifted it to 19th. So by then, Minister is back so that he can easily sit down on the own. Not only my own petition. You know, there is a lot of petitions from other federations. Mm. Must say thank you so much, Yahaya Mohamed. We'll continue to monitor the situation with weight lifted. Thank you so much. So that's it. Uh, the National Sports Federation elections. I told you this, the discussion will continue. And hear me. Um, these things will, will, will continue as long as it remains a problem. And if you listen to what he said, I, I think of all the results I've seen, weight lifting even seems to look, be like um, one of the competitive uh, results ever, 28 to 22. Uh, but then the appeals committee is that problem with it. Hopefully we'll get to speak to uh, the petitioner, Mr. Okoa. Uh, we've tried to reach him to get his views on this. It's important that we get both sides. What, what were his findings? What did he put down for the appeals committee that he saw as valid reasons to annul the election for a rerun? So these are all the problems out there that we need to, that must be solved. I'm hoping that we'll come out of this better. It's an unwanted distraction. I know. Uh, but, but I'm hoping that we can learn our lessons. I'm hoping that we can sanitize uh, the system, that all of the people agitating, all of the people that, that are feeling, that are aggrieved, you know, w when they get the opportunity to do whatever they want to do, have their appeals held, or eventually win, that at the end of the day, the sports will not suffer. Mm. You know, because w what, you, what you gather... Uh, from from what we've been able to gather, you know, all of this situation does not help. Mm. Most of these federations have their plans. Mm. Uh, have you know what what uh, in July will do this? Now we we'll do this. In some situations, you don't have, you don't have a the head of a federation. Yeah. Uh, you know, some positions are still uh, being uh, contested. But the only positive you can take from here is that we are all being educated. We are all becoming knowledgeable. You know, I was listening to him and I was jotting down some things yeah. about how an appeal goes, the mm. next step after an appeal, right. uh, what happens, uh, you know, the, the, uh, how those delegates, you know, how they are constituted mm. and all those things. So we, we are all learning. And I'm hoping that when we are done with all the appeals, when next we're going to have an election, yeah. there will be all uh, these issues. But at the end of the day, I, I, I'm still saying... Yeah. Even for those people that are aggrieved, that in the interest of the sport, I, right. I'm, not, I'm not saying just <laughs> fold your hands yeah, and accept a slap on the face. Achieved. Just, but, but at the end of the day, mm. you know, just put the interest above your own personal interest. And do you know, do you know, um, in the interesting thing about this, uh, some of these presidents elect or the ones that are petitioning um, are already members of the board. So if we're having all of this fighting, and these individuals are still on the board, and it means development will be slow unless they make a deliberate effort to push this aside and face development of the sport. I mean, while I was covering these elections, I wrote out six sports that we need active leadership. The moment they come in, they should start working. And weightlifting was one of them. This is a setback. Taekwondo was one of it. We know Taekwondo is also suffering that. I, handball we are glad samuel ochehu uh, is in now let's see what he can do um the former president uh, yusuf dauda is still part of the board and samuel has confirmed that they will work together volleyball we have a new president in musa nimrod we waited to see what he's going to bring out of it there was also weightlifting this is this is a setback on its own yeah. for weightlifting because as it is now all of the drama affects affects the real action because now no plans nothing is happening bad meeting they've been going for competitions already you know some of the other guys tennis they're already working and that's what we want table tennis they are still working so it's very important that these guys get the act the act right let's pray that now we're hearing the elections have been postponed once again uh, to the 19th we need to get proper confirmation from means from youth for youth and sports but yeah, I mean, we need to work with speed because there's there's still a lot of things to achieve